Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important and frequently used feature extraction technique from images, okay, for implementing uh, image classification or something of that kind in machine learning projects, okay. So that is local binary pattern, very important feature extraction technique, right. So whenever you train any deep learning model, that time you no need to extract features and train your model. Deep learning model internally will do that for you. But when you are using machine learning model, that time you need to give the features, not directly image, right? So how this local binary pattern feature extraction works, let me discuss. Consider this three cross three window present in my image, okay? Grayscale image, okay? So now consider the central pixel. With respect to this central pixel, we will basically apply thresholding for all other neighboring pixel, okay? So see central pixel intensity is what? 8, okay? So we will make this rule. If the neighboring pixel intensity greater than equal to 8, we will make that 1. And if that is less than 8, we will make that 0, okay? So see, 12 is greater than equal to 8, so place 1. 15 is greater than equal to 8, so place 1. 18 is greater than equal to 8, so place 1. 3, 2, less than 8, so place 0. 1, less than 8, so place 0. 8, greater than equal to 8, condition is satisfied, so place 1. 5, less than 8, so place 0. We will be getting this kind of uh, binary 0 and 1 values. Now, either rotate, either move clockwise or in anti-clockwise direction, but whatever you will do for one single case, for rest of the part of the image, you need to do the same, okay? So I am uh, starting my rotation from here and I am rotating like this, okay? So see how we, what is the 8-bit sequence you will be getting for this 8 neighbors? 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And you write this. You will be getting 1 byte or 8-bit sequence. Convert this particular one to decimal number. You will be getting 226. This you can place at the central pixel, okay? Like this, you can uh, implement the same uh, operation on the whole image, okay? And replace the central pixel by this 8-bit uh, sequence corresponding decimal number. And then you calculate the frequency, okay? Or repetition of that, okay? We can say this as histogram. And that histogram, for different image you take and try to find the similarity in between histogram and based on that either using a nearest neighbor or something we will try to predict whether that particular image if similarity is high with one known uh, training image then we will consider that test image is belonging to that training image that may be smiling face crying face like that mainly in emotion recognition we use this also okay uh, because uh, why in emotion recognition it can be used i will uh, discuss after some time but uh, that is one use case okay suppose you have some training uh, set okay for uh, inside training set there are different emotions okay for crying face one uh, set of images okay for smiling face one set of images for laughing face uh, one set of images for sad face uh, one set of images and one new test image comes then we need to classify that so that time we will apply this kind of LBP feature uh, local binary pattern feature extraction and we will train our model and we will try to predict that emotion of the image test image right so first advantage is coming to this particular algorithm is illumination invariant okay see try to understand Suppose this is our image in normal scenario. Now you are giving light from the above. Okay, what will happen? All the intensities will increase, right? Now this one LBP value will not change. Now you may ask why? Because see, when neighboring pixel intensity is increasing due to illumination, the central pixel intensity also increasing. So as a result, we can say although change is happening for individual pixel, but relative change is not happening. And as a result, when you are applying thresholding, your value is not going to be changed. Okay. So very important point, illum illumination invariant. Then slight rotation invariant. Okay. LBB feature, suppose you are having LBB feature for one image and you rotate the image little bit your LBP uh, extracted feature for the rotated image is not going to differ by a huge amount, okay, compared to our uh, first image, which is not rotated format, okay. 
So this slight rotation invariant to make LBB feature slight rotation invariant, but we do try to understand. See, consider this scenario where my pixels are 10, 12, 9, 6, 7, 19, 7, 10, 16. You apply thresholding based on 7, 10 is greater than 7, so we will be getting value 1, 12 is greater than 7, we will be getting value 1, 9 is greater than 7, we will be getting value 1, 19 is greater than 7, we will be getting value 1, 16 is greater than 7, we will be getting value 1, 10 is greater than 7, we will be getting value 1, 7 is greater than equal to 7, so we will be getting value 1, 6 is less than 7, so we will be getting value 0. Rotate like this, start from this, you will be getting this 8 bit sequence, okay? 1 byte, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, okay? Convert to decimal, you will be getting 254. Now, to make our this LBP extracted feature rotation invariant, what we do? We basically apply circular rotation on this particular 8 bit sequence and we get the decimal value for each and then we take the minimum one, okay? I will be showing you the uh, practical also, no need to worry. See, first rotate circular or circular shift by one bit. This one will come here. You will be getting this sequence, okay? The value will be 253. Then again, apply shift. You will be getting 251. Again, apply shift. You will be getting 247. Again, apply shift. You will be getting 239. Again, apply shift. You will be getting 223. Again, apply shift. 191. Again, apply shift. You will be getting 127. So among all these values, the minimum one is 127. So for LBB feature extraction, we'll, we are going to use this one. Okay, the minimum value. Okay. Now you may ask, what uh, by applying this, how the LBB extracted feature become rotation invariant? See, try to understand. Suppose this is my original image. Now you rotate slightly. Okay. And due to rotation, you will be getting this one. Okay. You can understand this matrix is nothing but rotated version of this one. Right. Just uh, we are rotating neighbors, keeping the central part as it is. Okay. Now you take, you apply LBP feature extraction on this threshold based on central pixel and convert to binary. You will be getting 127. Okay. And for this kind of neighboring uh, thresholded pixel, if you uh, Try to apply circular rotation, you will be finding the minimum is also 127. See, here we are getting for the rotated version of the image, we are getting 127. And for this image, okay, after applying multiple rotation, when we are taking minimum value also, we are getting 127. So this proves our, this particular algorithm is rotation invariant, okay. So this is two very, very important part of LBP.